Greetings programs, the chase is on in the thrilling 1975 film Escape to Witch Mountain. Let's jump into it. Many changes were made in order to bring Alexander Hughes' novel Escape to Witch Mountain to the big screen. The biggest of which was changing the film's setting from the eastern United States to the California Central Coast. Shot throughout the cities of Monterey, Carmel, and Big Sur, California, it's this beautiful but isolating scenery that gives Witch Mountain much of its tone. A tone far more sinister than any other Disney film of the time. That in part has to do with cinematographer Frank Phillips' impressive camera work and John Huff's direction. Huff was new to Disney's ever-revolving lineup of directors for hire, but was best known for the horror films The Legend of Hell House, The Incubus, and a few years down the line, Disney's first and only foray into horror, 1980's The Watcher in the Woods. Kim Richards' role of Tia was originally supposed to go to a young Jodie Foster before she dropped out for another film. Judging by the timeline, one would have to assume that film was Martin Scorsese's masterpiece, Taxi Driver. And the rest, as they say, is history. Which Mountain was a much needed success for the struggling studios, and eventually spawned a franchise that included a sequel, an unproduced television pilot, a television remake, and a complete reboot in 2009 starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Starring Eddie Albert, Donald Pleasance, Kim Richards, and Ike Isenman, Director John Huff presents Walt Disney Pictures Escape to Witch Mountain. Enjoy, end of line. 